morning. How is everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. It's Saturday morning and it is November 7th, 2020. <laughs> and um, I'm trying to get my energy back up. I got a little upset a little bit ago, but um, I, I have been getting signs and lots of support and um, and I'm, I'm starting to feel a little better. So I was like, it's time to do our video because, you know, we got to greet everyone and get everyone moving. And someone else might be going through this today. So maybe I can be an inspiration to you. So get your coffee or tea. Yummy. I have my keto coffee with chocolate greens in there for my vitamins. And it's so creamy and tasty. I love it. So today in Pennsylvania, it's a nice sunny day. I have the water sounds going. I'm trying to create a peace here and a harmony. And it's real important to do that, you know. And it helps me find balance. So, um, woke, woke up again this morning with, oh, I was up before the sun. It was just peaking. The light was just touching the darkness of the night. And it wasn't even over the hillside here. And, um, there was a pretty orange starting to form. Oh, it was some amazing. I love getting up this early. It's great. I've been going to bed earlier. You know, like back in the day, you know, they worked all day, so they were tired. And when that sun set, they went in and they cleaned up and they um, gathered together as a family and um, enjoyed their dinner. And then they, you know, they um, relaxed and went to bed because um, the next day was coming, you know, and they'd get ready for the next day. And that was their roots. That was what um, what, what um, they were taught to do. And, um, you know, it's, it's great to have a good start to your day by waking up morning, early in the morning. So, so I woke up and, and, you know, as the morning started coming, I went and got my coffee. And um, it started getting brighter and brighter. It's blue, beautiful blue skies right now. And there's a song that came to me today. <laughs> I know it's corny, but it's fun. <laughs> and you all probably know it, especially if you're in America, um, the United States. Um, the sunny days keeping the clouds away. <laughs> It's the old Sesame Street song, you know, the fun little uh, cute characters that kept um, life fun for us when we were kids growing up. And my grandkids used to watch it and it made you smile and stuff. And there's our son, you know, talking to me again today here with a song. So I'm singing this song as I'm getting my coffee and stuff, you know, and, <laughs> and, um, and then I get my book and, I, and this is my quote for the day. I am constantly expanding and learning. I learn as I go because I had a little drawback then, you know, and I was pulled back into the past and the deja vu things started happening to me and I had to stop, take a deep breath, pause, go within. I talked to my creator and I was listening to something this morning. Um, I've never listened to her. I can't even I can't even recall her name because it, it was just on my feed on YouTube. But she was saying something that you know caught caught me and stopped me. And um, she said, "Go within and ask what is my connection with you, Creator. What what um, what is our relationship?" So I did that. Oh, it was beautiful. I heard my soul song, and um, and I had a great connection, and I, I felt that love, and oh my gosh, it was beautiful, and just the waves of energy just caressing my heart and helping me to calm and know that everything is okay, you know, and life is what we create it. You gotta stop, breathe, and pause, so I, after that, I reflect it, and I connect it, and I asked a couple questions about where I was going and my journey and um, how, you know, I feel like it's going in one direction, it's feeling great and I'm getting all that good feelings and then 
certain things are coming at me like oh it's deterring me is that fear you know and I ask and I question myself and um, do I think I'm being impatient and you know all these different things come up so um, so it's a good a good thing to stop and breathe and just take it in uh, reflect on it um, regroup and move on and move on and ask for guidance you know to to keep you moving keep you in the flow so I did that you know and I let it go a little bit okay um, and and then the song come to me flowers everywhere flowers in her hair mm -hmm. it's the flower girl song and, and it's a happy song and um, it's about a love I think that comes in to your life and you feel that amazement and and then poof, she's gone and you don't know what's going on and is it uh, a message to work on myself is it a message that I wasn't fulfilling something or that she wasn't ready or you know there's all kinds of things that go through your mind when you listen to the song but at least they did with me <laughs> but that's me I'm a Scorpio I do all those things and go through all these perspectives and I think that's really good for me I love doing that I love being a Scorpio sometimes it gets a little overwhelming and you just have to you know rein it back in but you know overall um, it's really good to take that time and, and be objective in your life because you might not be going on the right path so then all these things start coming to me all these messages like every day I put on this necklace I mean this bracelet Yes, my necklace wants me to talk about the moon cycle coming up. Um, <laughs> I'll get to that. It's um, it's a Scorpio new moon. <laughs> so newness, you know, charge forward. Um, be brave and create. Well, um, I don't look at the bracelet usually when I put it on. And whichever way this little elephant is facing, which yesterday it was facing back. So I always look at that as, are you going back to something? Are you not going forward in the right direction? Are you off your path? So it, it you know, lets me analyze something. And um, today when I put it on, it's going forward again. So I'm like, good, because I did stop. I did um, take a look at things and I did connect with the creator and I did get messages and I did get guidance and um, taking steps towards that now. Um, because sometimes you need to go back, like I tell you, to just evaluate, um, to help someone, to be there for someone, to um, see that it's not for you, to see that you are making progress and you are going forward. So that was one of the signs. I have a couple of signs that I wrote down here. Um, oh, I've been seeing feathers everywhere. When I went to get my ring, a feather was stuck to it. And there's a feather over there and I saw a feather downstairs because I have them here and there. And when I went to get my crystals out, there's feathers in here. So it's it's the angels, and they're letting us know that, you know, we're here for you. Call on us, and I thank you, angels. Please guide me and help me the best that you can to keep me on my path. And um, our soul family. So today, we're going to do a postcard from, from Spirit. And I always call these postcards from, from Heaven, but from Spirit because... They are everywhere, you know, <clears throat> and when you call upon your soul family or any spirit, they come to you, regardless of where they are. And this is from this uh, deck, of Oracle card deck, is um, from Colette Baron Reed. It's a beautiful deck. It just really lets you connect and um, get messages when you need them. And I'm feeling like we need a message today. So I've got the peace going here. I opened the window to get some fresh air. The sun is shining. The sky is beautiful. I see beautiful blue. I see our star family and um, our beautiful family all around us. I got the water sounds going. Got my candle and I've got my crystals and I put my flower crown on. To know that life is beautiful and flowers are beautiful and they make you smile. And I've got my love shirt on. Love will set us free. 
So, you know, I'm creating my life. I'm creating what I want in my life, and these things are important to me. And you need to um, also find things that make um, life important to you. And I've got my Love Life Be Brave ring on. And, you know, um, things like this support us and let us feel connected and keep us connected. And my left hand's been hurting, so that's another reason. You know, I've been going back on things, and, you know, it, it gives me that little bit of pain, that little inkling to know that, you know, stop. Take care of you, which is me. Take care of me. Relax, massage my hand, breathe light, light into it, and love, and know that I'm on my path, and it's fine. And I can take that little dirt road or rocky road once in a while or go in that little divot and not get out right away but you know I know I'm there so I climb back out you know and that's what's important and today's a four day I didn't get to say so that's you know a day of um, getting grounded balanced and um, making that good foundation in your life what kind of foundation do you want to make oh I'm just going to put this upside down now <laughs> I did have dreams last night. I think I was too tired and didn't run down. Hi, I'm like two. And um, so that's okay, you know. I don't always have to have dreams. And when I woke up this morning, I was talking to our, our soul family out here, our collective family, my loving collective family. Um, I was saying, so did everyone have a good night? And no one really said anything. <laughs> yeah, you know. And I'm like, well, what we go do? You know, we went and spread, we lit some fires in people's hearts. <laughs> and I'm like, that's great. I love hearing that because that's what we do. You know, when we go to sleep, we continue to, you know, work and help others. And that's what we do. We go out and about. And today's the Sabbath day. It's a good day of, you know, connecting with all that is in our oneness and enjoying and being thankful today. You know, try not to work. And to me, this isn't work. This is like, this is my love. You know, connecting with you all and being here with you all. And sharing my insights and hopefully it helps somebody. You know, and know that these are always timeless. And no matter when you come here, even if it isn't today, um, you know, you were guided here by your guides and your spirit team. By your angels. To get connected. To grab a message to help you, you know, and, um, I think, I think a lot of things that are coming to me about the flowers today were like, you know, our lotus flower is blooming and we are the lotus flower. We are blooming. All our petals are coming out. So keep doing the infinity breath and connect to, um, what you're growing in your life and, um, who you really are, your spirit, you know. Oh, yeah, I wanted to mention this. Um, because when I wrote down, I have this little quote I keep in my phone. So when I'm at night, when I just quick, you know, voicemail my song or what I woke up to, whatever time it was, or what the dream was quick, I see this little quote every morning when I go to write down this book. And it's, it's, it's allow, um, move inspirationally through life in order to rendezvous with life. And I know it's funny because when I wanted to write it down today, I like, I wrote allow, move through life inspirationally in order to rendezvous with life. So like it got mixed up, so I moved the arrows around so I would read it correctly, even though I don't remember who the quote was from. Um, cause I just found it somewhere on a, one of those scrolling things that come down and it shows just a picture of words. Um, but it reminded me last night I watched a documentary on the History Channel on YouTube and it was about, um, this little town in Rockwall, Texas. Well, the rocks, they were digging, I guess, back in the day and they found these rock walls that were underneath the ground and who knows if they were covered in to cover our history or um, 
the land just changed and the dirt just kept washing and filling it up. I don't know for sure what it is. To me, I feel like it was built by our ancient ancestors that were here um, from the stars and it was for a purpose and um, it, w it was lined up facing the sun so when the sun come up to a certain point it would make that line and different things like that let you know that it's you know an ancient thing well they were digging it and there was it's a big story but they had all these they had these two pictures one was the rocks and the arrows going with the flow of the movement of the natural course direction of the earth's magnetic pool so some things they can show by doing their tests if it was um, a natural formation or if it was a formation by man-made and um, so that was all the arrows were all facing forward and then the other one the arrows were all facing different directions because they turned the stones and changes the mag magnetic um, pool or whatever that the stone was actually formed or where it was on the earth at the time so it was moved so it shows that it was man-made and that was sort of like that it took me to that thought and it just lets you know that you know if you're in the natural flow of things with the river of life um, you're going to be flowing all in the in the right direction that your your soul wants you to experience in this world and sometimes you might go to man-made and you might, you know, look at this or that and it pulls you in this different direction which makes your arrows go all squiggly, you know, and makes your life a little chaotic. So it's a real good way to think of things, you know, as you're thinking of your life to um, try to focus on keeping your arrows going in the natural way, you know, the spiritual way. In today's Bible verses, therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Colossians 3.12. I never can say that right, but... Um, yeah, so, you know, know that we are the chosen people. So... So, be guided and um, keep checking in with yourself, your inner self, and allow yourself to be in the flow, you know, because um, with me being pulled back, I had to look at um, the rhythm, and that made me think of rhythm too, so it brings me to the, you know, our, our laws of the universe, and this, in this, that I have written down, the 12th law, is the law of rhythm, Everything expands with ebb and flow, with a rhythm, with patterns. Rise above and do not be too excited, but do not stay too low in your vibrations. And you will stay on that river and you will flow. And you will flow with ease and grace and it won't be such a struggle all the time. Granted, these lessons that we learn from these struggles are great. So you don't want to ever not have those tower moments or try to avoid them or because they'll come at some point. Because you need to learn these lessons, of course. But, you know, you can learn them with grace and ease. Spirit, what kind of message would you like to give to the collective, our beautiful collective soul family here today, on this beautiful day, this beautiful four day? Yeah, so this, you know, and once you're in the flow, you get all these different messages and things, and hopefully I have time, I'd like to um, show you a couple crystals that have been coming to me. And it's funny because when I was starting to write down stuff today, it, it my, my little clock, it's a digital clock downstairs, and it says 538, which equals 88, which is, you know, the great flow. But it's funny because I'm like, it's not 5.38 because I've been up, you know, I woke up at 6 o'clock. <laughs> so it's already past that. It's because the little part of my clock, the light part, the one little light line has uh, died out. Like that little light in there died out. So it's really 9.38, and which equals an 11. And, um, you know, it's like... 
you can't always see things as they are and sometimes we're not supposed to but um, that's why you have your feelings your intuition and um, you seek guidance and you pray for guidance and you'll find the answers just like when I went within you know go and in, go into your heart and ask for God's guidance and he will answer you and stay balanced you know Try to stay balanced today create a balance like I am you know I'm trying to create a stability oh there we go um yeah um be sturdy in your faith and be patient have patience we're masters you know and if we stop and pause and we really reflect we will find those answers we will connect and um observe all the signs you're getting around you you know like these yellow trees they're 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 creating a harmony of happiness and elation you know and it's a brightness it's you know a joy a joy joy of the sun and when you need to back up review pause pivot and get back in the flow and stay your course you know these are times of um, deep transformation everyone's going through so be easy on yourself you know like I was this morning I put a little orange um, oil in my hand and I smelled that invigoration and I rubbed it on my feet because yes boil my feet the feet are the foundation that hold me up you know they need to feel good too you know and each part of your body relates to a part in your foot if you look at reflexology health um, if you have a pain somewhere or something feels uneasy you can always go to your foot and um, massage that area push on that pressure point breathe air and light and love and get that flow moving and that's why you know a lot of things like um, yoga are, are really good because it gets the energy flowing you know and it's Scorpio season so you're gonna be going in out of these <laughs> deep parts okay postcards from spirit two cents from heaven love you always here it is dearest you over here there is no mystery for us to unravel as we know intimately how connected we all are how the web of creation works and how spirit is in every aspect of life from the invisible to the visible and there's a breeze coming through the window here but it's impossible for humans to comprehend the complexities of how things actually work because the most important threads in the tapestry don't make sense in the dimension you live in that said can you feel the importance of these currents of energy that bring events together in miraculous ways and that's the breeze you know they're letting me know there is there is that current always flowing these currents of energy that bring events together in miraculous ways you can't understand with your mind but you can know with your heart and soul like I said your heart your soul it knows trust that even though you don't know the how the what or the why we do surrender to the mystery oh and it's taking me to Bobcat spirit back there he just pulled me in. I've got to get that card now. <sighs> the mystery of the universe, I think it says, or something. Surrender to the mystery and have faith that the unseen world is watching you with loving eyes as spirit weaves your life's mysterious and beautiful tapestry into glorious technicolor. Loving you so much as always. Oh, and if you'd like to take a screenshot... And it was just 24.32 on my timer. That equals an 11. That's a master number. Let you know, too. You are a master. Let me see what it says. Yes. Bobcat spirit. 
Life is a mystery, and this is us this month, the number eight card. So remember, you know, call on Bobcat, Bobcat Spirit, because you don't always need to see, and you don't always need to know. But in all reality, all reality, you do already know. Your soul knows, and that's who guides us. You know, um, the the thoughts that go in your mind that um, say anything negative are your ego, because your ego, God blessed us with that to protect us at times before we were awakened. But now we're awakened, so now we can go within our heart. We know to go within our heart. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the glittery heart. The fairies are like, oh, it's so glittery. <laughs> They want me to feel it. <laughs> yes, it matches my flowers. Well, I'm seeing pink everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Um. <laughs> Welcome to my world. <laughs> oh, and the heart. Oh, look, that flower looks like a heart. Yeah, go within your heart and connect and tell your ego. My ego is a little yellow canary, a little yellow chubby bird with really fluffy feathers and a little head, so cute and pudgy. And I just say, I love you, ego. Please go on my shoulder. Do not participate. Just observe, okay? And if there's anything I need to remember, will you jot it down and remind me later if I ask you? And that's that. And, and then I'm back off to positive world because that's what our life is. You know, we, we need to trust and we need to have faith and believe. And when you do that, you will connect. And I'm, I'm going to really quickly go through a couple gems real quick. Real quick because it's getting late here. Um, I'm going to try to remember the names. <laughs> This one is um, of the Scorpio stone. I can't think of it, but it has black with little grayish specks in there. And this gem is to remind you that um, there is light within the darkness. Okay? So that'll help you. And this one, I think this is rhodonite. I'll remember that one, but I'm not sure right now. Um, this is your rose hearts rose quartz for your heart chakra and um, this has also the black through it so go to your heart when you feel the darkness around you okay and this is sodalite I'm gonna have to look it up because now it's gonna bug me what my, my own Scorpio stone is <laughs> this is sodalite for your third eye you know um, this is a blessing that God gave you this eye, this eye that he sees, he helps you to see through. This um, will help activate and balance that and expand it. Use your third eye when you go within, see through that third eye. And this one, Blue Ad Adventurin. Um, these stones, these crystals and stones I got out last night and um, when I was coming up here this morning, I saw them sitting there on the table next to me and I'm like, do you want to be part of the, the reading, the message? And they're like, yes. And this is a stone to help you get calm, to um, give you tranquility. And it comes in different shades. It comes in greens, which is good for your heart shock. It comes in browns, perhaps, happiness and um, relaxation. And this one increases tranquility. So balance, tranquility, and stability and our beautiful message today is mainly that find your balance keep your tranquility and be stable create stability and remember that miracles do happen and life is miraculous and um you might not see everything but trust in the universe it's creating for you and keep your um your thoughts and your heart and your life 
happy and full of joy and let that work through you and let the tapestry become all glorious technicolor and know that spirit loves you loves you and i love you so on that note have a great weekend and i will see you on the next video namaste Mwah. love and light to you all bye smile <laughs>